I, I would like to thank uh, the New Museum of Las Gatas for displaying my piece and the other artists who are here today. And also thank you guests for being here today. Oh, I'll give you some background about myself. I have always loved art ever since I can remember. Art has been a part of my life. Um, and so it just made sense to pursue, pursue art as a career. And I'm a teacher at Del Mar High School, which is here in San Jose. I've been there since 1999 and I'm, I'm, I've been a practicing artist and prior to uh, working as a teacher, I was also a professional photographer. Around eight years ago, I started working with light painting photography and light painting photography is very long exposure photography. Um, you basically have to set your camera on a tripod and I use a lot of different tools. I wanna to show you some of them. Like this is called a hooded gel. And um, this are, these are called, um, these are plexiglass blades. And I put different colored gels on them and I use them to basically paint my, my frame. And I'm wearing black and I'm constantly moving around. And so that's, um, I do these images in one ex very long exposure. They could, they could be as long as five, five minutes sometimes. Um, so I started my creative creatures, that's what I call them, a few years ago. And this piece that's here in the museum is called We Will Rise. And it's part of my shelter in place series. Um, just like what inspires me is my, my Christian faith. And it's definitely has shaped my spirituality and the person that I am today. That's like for me, the creation of art is a spiritual journey. Um, it's a way for me to connect with the universe, um, to you know, explore the unknown, and to I ha I I very much connect with strong female archetypes. So we will rise represents hope and healing um, for our world. You know, we've been very devastated by the COVID-19 and I think we don't even understand the full effects of it yet. Um, and so, but with this piece that I created last spring, it's become even more meaningful to me because I lost my home in the CZU lightning complex fires in August. So if you could please go to slide two. So um, when I was creating this work, it was over a period of a few months and I created about 10 different pieces. And so I wanted to show you, um, you know, just one more piece here. This one's called Warrioress. And at the time that I created this one, I was feeling very restless, very combative. Um, and I just was so tired of being just in the home. Um, I wanted um, to, so I created this piece and I wanted it to be kind of magnified. So that's why I used prism in front of the camera lens to kind of repeat the shape. Um, and so over these couple months, um, I would create probably one piece a week and it just kind of represented kind of my mindset at the time. Um, typically I work outdoors. And so I wanted to show you like one of my pieces that I created outdoors called Empress of the Sands. This was created at Bean Hollow Beach on the coast. Um, with the lockdown though, um, I was really forced to rethink my practice. And I actually feel that I was able to be more creative because I was not limited by location and time. Uh, the experience actually allowed for more experimentation, you know, working in my home studio at the time. Um, I had really high ceilings so I could set up my backgrounds and just work for hours and hours. Um, since losing my home, I have returned to what is the remains of my charred home and I've done some artwork in the environment there. So if you could please go to slide three. So um, this last artwork that I created at my home in, in my current in its current condition. It was it was a really difficult day, um, a very hard piece to create. Um, 
before creating this, like my husband and I literally just stood there in the middle of our burned home, just holding each other and we were in tears and um, it, it, that, it just lets, I was able to release some of my grief and doing this piece was very cathartic and I found myself freeing some of my pain um, just from losing my home and everything. So I have to say that, uh, well, this piece here is called We Will Rise from the Ashes and We Will Rise has become my battle cry and the phoenix is my symbol. And I'm gonna get a tattoo. <laughs> once all this is resolved and we're all done, I'm getting a tattoo once I have my house rebuilt and um, that it's definitely become a really strong symbol for me. Um, and so lately what I've been doing is actually um, light painting some of the burnt artifacts from my home in a more of a still life format because I don't really have a studio very big anymore or a very large area to work at home. Um, and these pieces were just really special artifacts that were burnt that I wanted to document in their new state. And also I do plan on doing some more creative creatures in the environment. 